One of the other defining features of larotrectinib has really been its safety and patience, and that really comes from two factors. One is that we know that, again, the role of track in our bodies normally is very limited. And so we're addressing, we're targeting something that has a very limited normal physiologic role. And also, larotrectinib is an incredibly selective inhibitor, so it really only is inhibiting track in patients. And the consequence of that is that patients tolerate this drug incredibly well. And in fact, you, you can see this most clearly in the need for dose reduction, which occurs between 10 and 15 percent of the time, which is an incredibly low rate for a cancer therapy. And when you look at the percentage of patients who discontinue uh, this drug um, due to side effects, it's really only a very small handful of patients in the kind of 1 or 2 percent range of patients who ultimately need to discontinue this uh, drug due to side effects. So this really is an extremely safe drug, and it's a drug that um, in comparison to the other kind of anti-cancer therapies that these patients have experienced, the ones that I've treated have all remarked just how favorable the side effect profile of larotrectinib is in comparison to a almost any other treatment that, that they had received as part of their cancer care. What has been my experience with patients? Um, in many ways, this drug has been truly uh, transformative for many of my patients. Um, I'll give you a story and an example. I have a young gentleman who was diagnosed with very aggressive metastatic papillary thyroid cancer um, in his early 30s. Um, he was a, a, a real estate agent uh, in, in Houston. And um, he had failed standard radioactive iodine therapy. He had failed chemotherapy. He had actually failed several lines of uh, other targeted agents and also a phase one trial. He came to me, <coughs> I, you know, he came to me and uh, had been, you know, uh, on oxygen. And in any, in most cases, in that situation, we would probably have sent him to, you know, considered hospice. But we sent off his uh, tissue for um, analysis at Foundation Medicine. And what we got back was that he had uh, NTRK fusion, ETV6, NTRK3 fusion. And as soon as I realized that, we put him on the study. Within a week, he was off oxygen. He is still alive three years later. Three years ago, he had <coughs> one child, and their wife did not, both of them did not think that they, he would live long enough to have any further children. He had actually saved some of his sperm. They now have twins, right? So these are, I mean, this is just a small example of just kind of some of the kind of transformative ways that this drug has worked. Um, <clears throat> is this going to be, is this going to work for everybody? Is it going to be this transformative for everybody? But I, I say this to uh, uh, my other colleagues. If you ever identify a patient with n fusion and you actually treat them with lerotrectinib or an n inhibitor, you will never forget the patient and you will never forget uh, 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 the drug. Treating patients with uh, track inhibitors and larotrectib has been really the highlight of my medical oncology career. It's so rare that you can um, offer a patient a therapy that really within uh, days offers them like dramatic clinical benefit. Um, I've had the really the privilege of treating patients who are um, extremely ill from their cancers, almost kind of bed bound. Within a couple days of taking larotrectinib, they're able to return to often near normal function. And just to kind of uh, live with these patients, watching these dramatic clinical improvements, these dramatic changes on their scan, and most importantly, the fact the durability of response with this drug. So these patients that I've been able to follow, in some cases, for several years now, is really an incredible experience. I've gotten to see patients who have seen their children graduate college, um, those who have seen their young um, children raised um, and, and, and have major milestones in their life. So it's been a really amazing experience personally.